Welcome to A Poor Millionaire with your host, Curtis. Today, we're going to get a little crazy, a little wild. We're going to talk about thinking outside of the box. And the old saying goes, there are those who think inside the box, there are those who think outside the box, and then there are those who tell you there isn't a box at all. And the first place I want to start with this is Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was a genius and a guy who created most of our modern world. All the technology we use today is based off of technologies that he created. But in addition to those technologies he created that we use today, he also created other technologies that we haven't been able to demonstrate, other technologies that he said were working, other technologies that people saw him working on, like wireless electricity, levitation, ray guns, all these uh, different things. Oh, free energy. All these things that Nikola Tesla was working on that he said he was he could do. And when a genius tells you he can do something and has created all the other stuff, you tend to believe that it's possible he could do it. He was one of the greatest inventors have ever lived, but where... How often are we taught in school about Nikola Tesla? When I went to school, there was never even a word of Nikola Tesla. I didn't find out about Nikola Tesla until later on. I think there's a reason for that. I think one of the reasons for that is because Nikola Tesla actually had these inventions that are further along than we were ready for. Um, so that's maybe one of the reasons why they didn't release them to the general public. When Nikola Tesla died, they came in and took all of his notes, all of his inventions, and they're all top secret. Why? Because some of them are real. Some of these technologies that he discussed and brought up and said he could do, he could actually do. Even if he could do half of them, that's still crazy technology we don't currently have today. Why do I bring up all this? I bring up all this because Nikola Tesla went to, went to a normal school. When he got out of school, he completely did the exact opposite of everything they taught him in school. And that's how he succeeded. He basically threw everything out the window and started from scratch. And what I'm saying is, is a lot of times when you go to school, school kills your creativity. School is designed to create people who can work and not create stuff. But the, tech, the, the, the realm that we're moving into, we're moving away from that old idea. We're moving into a whole new paradigm where technology is gonna start just totally destroying entire fields. Creativity is gonna be one of the, less, the last jobs left. Thinking Thinking not only outside the box, but thinking whether or not there even is a need for the box is going to be what's going to be bring you value and bring success in the future. This is this is the idea that creativity is something that you need an ex, a muscle you need to exercise. It's a muscle that school tends to they take the children when they first start school, and the children are this prime example of this. Children start off, 95% of them, when they test them out, when they very, very first start school, 95% of children are extremely creative. They're extremely um, independent. They are free thinkers. They think outside the box. They think there is no box. They don't even know the box. I mean, they are completely wild and completely free thinking. Then about a couple years into school, they test them again, and only 5% have kept that level of creativity that all of them had when they almost all of them had in their in their younger years so what i'm saying is is you have to discover your creativity you have to realize that you are everyone is 95 percent of people which is pretty much everyone is creative and you have this ability to create to think outside the box but you have to let yourself set your mind free you got to realize that there is no spoon you know what i mean You've got to take the jump, take the plunge. You've got to stop thinking that every time someone says something is true, that it is true. You have to question everything. This is why uh, Steve Jobs dropped out of school because Steve Jobs wanted to be creative. He wanted to, he wanted to create and just keep on creating. And that's why Steve Jobs became rich and famous because he created and created and created. He created all his life and he created uh, Apple, the iPhone, all these different technologies that he helped develop and create and his mind brought about because he didn't follow. He didn't go through school, get his degree, go out, get a job, work at a company and basically become a cog in the machine. He reinvented the machine and that's how we get change in society. That's how things get better. That's how success works is you've got to become creative. You want to be rich and, and successful, you're going to have to become creative. You're going to have to come up, you're going to have to think outside of the box. Think that there is no box question about the box why is there a box why do we even need to can talk about the box you understand you got to be completely 
out of the realm. You got to be like, and people think a lot of times when I'm talking to people and, and I, I, I question everything. I'm not going to question that now because you really think I'm crazy. But I, you know what? Somebody tells me something. They say, hey, this is all that I can do. And I ask them, is that really all that you can do? Or if someone says, hey, this is, this is the only way to do this. My first question is, is the second when someone tells me that is like immediately, I'm like, I don't think that that makes no, that there's a million ways to do this. This is the best way that you have come up with to do what you're trying to do. But now you're telling, now you put yourself, it's like the, the, the billionaire guy says, he says, if you think you're going to make a million dollars, then you'll make all the way up to a million dollars. Then you won't make a million five. I can guarantee you, you will never achieve anything greater than your highest aspiration. If you want a million, you'll make a million, not a million five. If you want 10 million, 100 million, and uh, you'll never exceed that. If you change a billion lives, that's a formula to become a billionaire and change the world. The crazy old guy who's always yelling. He says, you, you think you're gonna make a million dollars? You'll make up to a million dollars. You won't make a million five. You won't make two million, you'll just make a million. You think you're gonna make 10 million? You're gonna make 10 million. Basically, you're, you are, it's like when uh, they, what they do is they take baby elephants and they'll tie them up when they're young with a, with a chain and it'll hold them in place. Then when the baby elephant gets older, they can tie the, 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 the now fully done, grown adult elephant with a rope. And the fully grown elephant won't, even though the fully grown elephant could easily rip the rope apart, he won't do it because he thinks he can't. That's the same pro same thing that happens with uh, with adults. And as your children, you're taught that you're not creative, you're not special, that you can't think outside the box, that you should you should go along to get along. And this hampers your creativity, this hampers your success, this puts you in a box, and you've got to break free of that box. You've got to understand not only do you need to think outside the box, you need to blow the box up all right you've got to set your mind free if you want to be successful you have to think differently that's literally a slogan right think differently right it literally is a, the slogan i think it's apple think differently right you have to this is this is if you want to be successful you want to create change in your own personal life you're going to have to get out of the ways that you're thinking and start thinking about new ways of doing stuff start thinking and, and i i suffer from this too i start you start getting, you, the more you, you set limits on yourself and the more you set limits on your life and the more you say, I can't, the more you say that then, then your life starts getting, gets closer and closer and everything starts just pulling in. And you're just like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. What you've got to do is you, gotta, you need to start asking yourself, how can I? And also ask yourself why. When people, at, when people tell you that you can't do something or they can't do something, you got to ask them why. Why do you think that? Constantly, constantly tell people that, look, you things aren't set in stone I, I people are always telling me that and the second someone tells me it's set in stone I know immediately that that's the problem right I have employees when an employee tells me for sure 100% this is the way it is at the second he tells me that it's like basically it's almost like his subconscious mind is telling me that he has an idea or that there's another way to do it but he's ignoring that idea on purpose because he just doesn't want to be creative. I don't know what it is. It's just whenever an employee tells me absolutely 100% this is the only way to do it, I know instantly there's five other ways to do it and almost all five of them are going to be better than the way that they're doing it currently. It's just like it's like a clue. It's like a, a light bulb goes off in my head. I know immediately that there's an issue and that this person is basically their subconscious is screaming at me screaming at me that they're doing it wrong and they know it but they can't they can't figure it out guys that is one of the biggest jobs that i do when i'm dealing with my employees is being creative when i had my own company and i had i was doing a wholesale sales that's all i did was sit there and my job my entire job was to be creative come up with new ideas to sell new products to new people and that's all i did is just sit there and think that is what you that's what i paid myself to do is to think I was the person who sit there and strategized nonstop about our goals about how to reach it and I did very well on and in a market that was extremely competitive and hard to succeed in fact it was so hard to succeed everyone went out of business and eventually like other my competition went out of business one by one and then eventually I went out of business because there wasn't the the reason why they were going the reason why the market was contracting is just because like the white box computers were basically going away the cell phone and the laptop was taken over and I even sold laptops for a time but I, what I'm trying to say is is Creativity is going to be the key to your success, and you have to open that creativity up. You've got to you've got to 
twist it around. You've got to examine it. You have to ask questions. You have to, you have to really focus on how you're going to get your mind open. All right, to new I and and it's so believe me if if like it's so hard for me to say because you know to tell you an idea that to explode your mind, but there are ideas out there. Just because you know it's like conspiracy theories is an excellent place to at least open your mind up. All right, it gets you to think. All right, that if you think about it, you know the rich kids. You know when they send when when rich people send their kids. I'm not not talking about rich. I'm talking super rich. I'm talking extremely rich. Like the billionaires, when they send their kids to school, you think they're sending their kids to school to kill their creativity? No. They're sending their kids to school to think and actually use their brains effectively. They send their kids to schools where it's open in creativity and that's all they do. Why? Because they know that that is what makes successful people. They know that that is what's going to create the create you a creative person is like the superpower. It's like you have a superpower and you basically your entire life you've been told not to use your superpower. All right? And what I'm asking, what I'm telling you and what I'm asking you to do is take the chains off. Take uh you're the baby elephant, you're tied up with a rope and your mind is tied up and you've got to start exercising, questioning everything, everything, everything. Do not there are so many things that that are that need to be questioned in our world. All right, so many things that need to be questioned. And you want to be successful, you're gonna to have to think differently. You're gonna to have to think outside the box. You're gonna to think there is no box. You're gonna to think there is no spoon. You've got to break free. All right, guys. I really appreciate you listening to this. I really would prefer, would love a thumbs up. And if and of course, if you're not already a subscriber, please do that now. Guys, I know this video is a little different. And I hope that you understand what I'm trying to get across. I hope you understand that that creativity is how you're going to be successful. You have to be creative. You have to push your creative. Cre that, that's how I got to where I am today is creative and not thinking like everyone else. Not trusting. People tell you stuff. You got to you gotta ask yourself, number one, this is what they believe, but it might not be true. Is there a different way? How can I do this? Is or Am I asking the right question? Sometimes... It's the wrong question. Sometimes they ask a yes or no question and it's not yes or no. It's something else. All right. That's why I say it's not just inside the box. It's not just outside the box. It's also, is there a box? You know what I mean? There's, there's another question. Are you asking the right question? Sometimes people ask me and they say, Hey, how do I do this? Or how do I do that? And I'm like, you're not asking the right question. All right. So make sure you're asking the right questions. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in and I will see you in the next video.